We're asked to determine the largest number of edges possible in a graph with seven vertices, in a partite graph with seven vertices, and in a tree with seven vertices. To determine the largest number of possible edges, we'll have to use the handshake lemma, which states in any graph, the sum of the degrees of vertices in the graph is always twice the number of edges. If we want a graph with seven vertices to have the most number of edges, it must be a complete graph, which means every pair of vertices is connected by one edge and only one edge. And a complete graph with seven vertices has a special name that's called K7 or K sub seven, which looks like this. Notice each pair of vertices is connected by one edge. Or we can say each vertex is adjacent to every other vertex in the graph. From here, notice there are six edges emanating from each of the seven vertices. Because each vertex has degree six and there are seven vertices, the degree sum is seven times six, which is equal to 42. Now that we know the degree sum, we can determine the number of edges using the handshake lemma. Two times the number of edges must equal 42, which gives us the equation 2e equals 42, dividing both sides by two, we have E is equal to 21. The large number of possible edges in a graph with seven vertices is 21 edges. For the next question, what is the largest number of edges possible in a bipartite graph with seven vertices? Let's begin by reviewing the definition of a bipartite graph. A graph is bipartite if the vertices can be divided into two sets, A and B, with no vertices in A adjacent and no two vertices in B adjacent. But in our case, because we're looking for a bipartite graph with the largest number of edges, we actually wanna look at complete bipartite graphs in which each vertex in A is adjacent to every vertex in B. This will give us the most number of possible edges. So this one's not quite as straightforward. Let's take a look at two possible cases. Let's look at the complete bipartite graph K sub one comma six, where we have one vertex in one set and six in the other. Let's also look at the complete bipartite graph K sub three comma four, where there are three vertices in one set and four vertices in the other. For the K sub one comma six complete bipartite graph, if each vertex in the first set is adjacent to each vertex in the second set, this top vertex would have degree six. Each of the vertices in the second set would have degree one. For the graph K sub three comma four, each vertex in the set with three vertices would have degree four, and each vertex in the second set would have degree three. If we have a complete bipartite graph, meaning each vertex in one set is adjacent to every vertex in the other set. We'll notice how the K sub three comma four is going to give us a larger degree sum, and therefore we'll use this to determine the largest number of possible edges in a bipartite graph with seven vertices. The degree sum for K sub three comma four is three times four plus four times three, which we can see is equal to 12 plus 12, which is 24. Applying the handshake lemma, we know that two times the number of edges must equal 24. Dividing both sides by two, we have the number of edges is equal to 12. So 12 is the largest number of edges possible in a bipartite graph with seven vertices. And for the last question, what is the largest number of edges possible in a tree with seven vertices? Recall a connected graph with no cycles is a tree, and a cycle is a path that starts and stops at the same vertex. Let's begin by sketching a possible tree with seven vertices. In this case, it doesn't really matter which tree we sketch. So if these are the seven vertices, let's use this tree here. With this graph, we can simply just count the number of edges. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six edges is the largest number of edges possible in a tree with seven vertices. But while we're here, let's go ahead and check the degree sum. The top vertex has degree two, the next two vertices have degree three, the bottom vertices have degree one. Notice the degree sum is 12. Applying the handshake lemma, 2e equals 12, 
which indicates e is equal to six, which we already know because we can simply count the number of edges. The largest number of possible edges in a tree with seven vertices is six edges. The number of edges in a tree with n vertices is always n minus one edges. I hope you found this helpful.